It's a fashion choice, written and illustrated by Paul H. Tupp. Mr. Francis McKee lived in his house in Fairview, with Fergus the Fourteenth, his pink cockatoo. He wore the same clothes every single day, orange shirt, purple waistcoat, and his trousers were grey. But he wanted to change, he was bored of his look, so he searched for an idea in an old library book that was some kind of style guide, but how good can it be as this book it was published in 1903? And he found nothing at all that he wanted to wear, so he returned the book and he left in despair. That evening he relaxed, watching a DVD about a stone, a sword and a strange magic key. Whilst watching this film he saw clothes he admired and said, that's what I need, I'll purchase what's required. He bought the outfit, saying, it really suits me, these clothes I am going to wear constantly. He wore them during the day, and he wore them at night, whilst he was playing football, or flying his kite. He wore them while some bathed him when he was at the beach, and when he had to juggle two kiwis and a peach. He wears them disco dancing, and when there's a tree to climb. I think it's clear by now that he wears them all the time. He so loved his clothes but there was a downside. One he couldn't fix no matter how he tried. For instance, the other day at roughly half past four, Miss Gilhooley from down the street knocked upon his door. She was expecting visitors for a game of chess, but she needed help urgently as her house was in a mess. She asked, can you clean my house? And can you clean it quick? It shouldn't be too difficult if you just use your magic. He'd tell her, I'm no wizard. It's a fashion choice. But she wouldn't listen to him, so then he'd raise his voice. Eventually he'd have to yell just so he'd be heard. I'm no wizard. It's a fashion choice. This is just absurd. But people still requested many impossible things, like turning a pack of mushrooms into diamond rings. Moving a piano upstairs under five seconds flat. Or making an elephant come out of his hat. It got so bad that he went back to what he used to wear. The outfit he put in his wardrobe forever to stay there. But although the outfit will stay there, never to be seen, he still went for a change of look as he dyed his hair green.